Hey everyone, this is Larry. Welcome back to todayatfeellike.com. Today we're gonna to take a look at the Comica CVM V30 Lite. This is a little microphone that's gonna work with both of your cameras and your smartphones. So let's go take a look. All right, so here we have it. This is the Comica CVM V30 Lite. This is a cardioid condenser light microphone. And yeah, let's just take a look around the box. We can see here it says it supports both cameras and smartphones, which is really nice. Um, it uses low noise, low self noise, uh, so that you're not gonna hear a bunch of hum and stuff from the microphone uh, when it's quiet. Has super anti-interference. It has uh, super cardioid. It has excellent shock absorption. And if we look on this side, you can see some of the uh, specs about the polar pattern, frequency range, uh, output impedance, max, uh, SPL, sensitivity, signal to noise ratio, weight, and dimensions on there. So um, again, more info about the uh, same as the other side here. So um, let's actually go ahead and um, unbox this bad boy. Let's get it open. So we'll pop this, uh, we'll pop this tape open here and see if we can get this without uh, cutting myself open there. There's a little bit of, of uh, security tape on here. So let's see if we can get this opened up and um, there we go. Some of these tapes are on there are pretty, uh, are pretty secure, which is nice because you don't want people opening up your packages before you get them. So it's nice that they do that. Um, let's get this uh, out of the plastic, out of the box and out of the plastic here. So let's just take that off and we'll set the plastic off to the side and yeah, there we go. So this is pretty much everything that comes with it. We have uh, the microphone. We have, uh, I'm not sure what this is. Oh, it's like a little thank you card, which is always really nice. There's some uh, barcodes in there that you guys can check out. Um, we have a warranty card in there. And then we also have the uh, user manual, which is nice. It tells you actually how to, uh, how to set this up and how to use it. So. And it looks like you can use it. They show you directions for both uh, smartphones and for cameras. So, um, but I don't like using uh, instruction manual. I'd just like to see if we can do it. So, but this is the microphone. It looks really pretty nice, I have to say. Um, here is, um, you know, this is the shock absorber right here, which is nice. So it looks like it's gonna be uh, fairly effective. Um, it has this cable that's built into the microphone, which is something that I'm not a big fan of. I like to have these cables uh, be able to unplug because if something goes wrong with the cable, you're kind of out of luck with the whole microphone. But if you can replace the cable, you can continue to use the microphone afterwards. So, um, but yeah, on the back here, if you guys can see that, there's actually a switch that goes from camera over to, to a phone. So you can use, you can set it to either or, and it doesn't look like you actually even need a, um, a separate uh, adapter or plug. They do have the three prongs on here. So naturally it looks like it is a TRRS cable or uh, um, plug on there, but it looks like maybe with this uh, switch, they're able to convert it somehow internally into a TRS instead of TRRS. So um, yeah, we're gonna test this out. I'm gonna put it on my camera, see how it works, and I'm gonna test it um, with my smartphone and see how it works as well. And you guys can tell me what you think and what it sounds like. All right, everyone, let's go ahead and jump into the good and the bad. And the first good thing that I wanna talk about with this is that you're gonna get much better sound than using just the camera audio only. So right now I don't have the microphone hooked up. I wanted you guys to have a little bit of an audio sample reference to know what it sounds like using just the camera microphones. Now let's plug this in and see how it sounds and how much different it sounds when you have this microphone hooked up. All right, so there you go. You can hear the difference already. It makes a significant difference having a microphone plugged in versus just using the camera mic. And as you can tell, the sound quality is much, much better. Now, it gets even better if you move closer to the microphone. So I'm gonna move up a little bit closer here. You guys can probably hear that it gets a little bit, uh, it gets uh, stronger, it might be a little bit bassier. I don't know how I sound right now because, I mean, I don't know how I look because I'm probably extra, extra close, but yeah. So, but you guys can hear the difference there. So let's uh, let's just go. This is where I would normally stand about this different uh, this distance from the camera, and so you can hear that the microphone sounds much better. Uh, it sounds the audio sounds much better using the microphone than it does just using the camera microphone alone. So I would always recommend putting an external microphone on there, and this Comica mic seems like it's going to be a pretty good uh, a pretty good option for people. 
All right, everyone, so I'm outside now. I'm filming with my iPhone. So I'm using the iPhone XS Max, and I actually have the Comica mic plugged in right now. So um, you're hearing it with the Comica mic plugged in, and I'm actually gonna unplug this and see if it, uh, if it what it sounds like without, uh, without it plugged in. So I'm gonna go ahead and see if, uh, if it'll keep recording with uh, once I just unplug it. So let's go ahead and unplug the microphone. And there we go. So the microphone is now unplugged and I'm just using the iPhone's microphone. So you guys can tell me if you guys can hear a difference between just using the iPhone's microphone and using the Comica microphone. I'm gonna go ahead and actually plug this back in and see if you guys can tell a difference again. So let's see if I can get that in there. And there we go. It is plugged back in and you guys can tell me if you can hear any difference between the iPhone and the Comica microphones. All right, so this last thing that I want to mention about this microphone is that it actually has really nice shock absorption. So I'm walking right now, and the thing that you want with the shock absorption is, is you want to make sure that when you're moving around and the microphone may be bouncing a bit from either walking motion or something bumping or just the ground moving, whatever, that you don't end up with a bunch of handling noise. And so right now I can see the shock absorption is the shocking, uh, the shock mount on this uh, microphone seems to be working really well. And so as I walk, you probably are not hearing a bunch of handling noise, which is really, really important because that's the last thing you want is some distracting noise of your microphone bouncing around. So I really like the fact that this microphone has a nice shock absorber on it. All right, so I'm filming now with my GoPro Hero 7 Black, and uh, I'm bringing this brings me to one bad point about this microphone. So, as you can hear, the microphone actually does work with uh, with the GoPro Hero 7 Black. But one of the problems I have is that the microphone only comes with a foam windshield. It doesn't actually come with a dead cat that you can put over top of the microphone. So if you want to use this microphone outdoors with something like a GoPro, then you may end up with uh, with wind noise if it's windy outside. Now it's not very windy up here. There's a light, a very slight breeze, so you may not be hearing any of that rustling noise that you get from uh, from wind noise. But if you go out and there's a breeze going, you can see the with the leaves ruffling, you know, or if you're using Using this microphone in conjunction with your GoPro, if you have it mounted to a bike or yourself or a scooter or whatever, you're gonna hear that wind noise because it does not come included with a dead cat. All right, everyone, so there you have it. That is a look at the Comica CVM V30 Lite microphone. This is a little microphone that can be used on your cameras and used with your smartphones and tablets. It really is fantastic. I tested it out with my Sony A7R Mark III. I tested it out with my GoPro Hero 7 Black. I'm actually shooting with it right now using my, uh, my iPhone XS Max. So it does work with all those cameras and it works really nicely. Now, if you are using it with an iPhone you do have to get the uh, 3.5 millimeter to uh, lightning connector adapter because you know the uh, the iPhones don't have headphone jacks and this microphone connects using that 3.5 millimeter uh, uh, headphone plug so but other than that it works really really nicely it's uh you know there are a few things I wish they would change on there I wish that that cable was uh, able to be user replaceable in case I actually screw it up and it gets damaged I would also like for them to have included a, uh, a dead cable cat with this in case I'm out filming and it's a little bit windy I can knock down that wind noise or if I want to mount it to a bicycle or something and use it when I'm in motion and I have that wind blowing on the microphone it'd be nice to be able to knock that uh, that wind noise down as well so but anyhow I actually like it at the time of this review this microphone is only $39.99 on Amazon so it's a really nice budget microphone that you're gonna be able to get to really improve your audio quality if you're filming vlogs or filmmaking or doing whatever it is that you want to do so Anyhow, I'm going to leave a link to it in the video description so you guys can check it out. I'm also going to leave a link to my Amazon page so you guys can check out all the products that I reviewed over time. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up and please subscribe to my channel and follow me on Facebook. And I am Larry with todayifeellike.com. Thanks for coming back to see me. Come back and see me soon. And until next time, love, peace, and air grease. Hey.